Oh yeah, Jax? Is that, uh, is that Iowa grass tastier? Is the grass greener in Iowa, Jax? <laughs> yeah, well, it might be. I don't know. Well, I'm happy to report that I have successfully made it to Iowa, everybody. Been waiting to uh, film any part of it because this is actually my third campground that I visited since being in the state. This one is also full here at Glenwood Park Campground. The campground loop is completely full here already. And the two other free campsites were full as well. So, granted, it is a Friday. I understand that. But um, I can't even pay to park today. And I really, really tried. So, Walmart, it's going to have to be for the day. Uh, and then we'll figure everything out tomorrow. But this is a pretty nice little lake here. There's some guys over there uh, fishing. Yeah. It was my hope that I could just settle down and maybe even hop in the water. But um, anyway, not going to work here overnight. So we'll improvise. So yeah, not as sexy and romantic as I hoped. But the first Walmart I hit here in uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa is overnight friendly to uh, RVs. So that's a good thing. This is just a spot to park and plan tomorrow. It is 87 degrees, so it's plenty warm, plenty of solar. I'll get some fans going and I will cut back in in the morning when we get back on the road and go explore a little more. One more thing real quick. I did my walk arounds like I do them throughout the day. Uh, when I got here, checked the straps on the back. Didn't notice something until I came back with a shopping cart and then noticed, where the heck is my tailpipe? My tailpipe's gone. I put that on about a year ago. Well, it's completely gone and started burning some of the side of my RV there. So with my dinner, I replayed back the surveillance. It literally was on one time on the highway, was off on the next. I can't see where it physically fell off. I didn't hit anything, uh, but strange. Missing my tailpipe and that's not good because that can blow exhaust back up inside. It can get really hot underneath the RV there. So the first thing tomorrow is stop by an auto parts store and I'll get another new tip to put on there, maybe 20, 15 bucks or so. Uh, never hurts to walk around and look. Sometimes I only look eye level or stuff. I need to look down at tires and everything now. Glad I caught that. Anyway, I decided to work on this. I fixed this. Actually, there's a little advanced auto just a walking distance away. And I put the new tip on there, but the entire thing was loose. It had actually come apart above. I'll climb underneath and show you what had happened. But uh, the tips on, we're all secure and safe now, good to go. So the bracket that uh, holds it up there had rusted away and broken. So I used some old uh, water heater strap and just uh, reattached it and then self drilled it into the top here because this is a custom fit anyway. You can't just go into the auto parts store and so yeah, I got a 2001 Chevy Express. No, it's an RV. It's There's all kinds of stuff going on. But uh, yeah, for right now, that's going to hold. Feel good. Okay. And yeah, like I said, I was going to wait till tomorrow, but because it was right there, I just wanted to get it out of the way and fix it. And once I felt that the whole hanger had broken, I'm like, nope, this gets my attention instead of something else. So whew, it's warm. Okay. I'll get back to you in the morning though. All right, awesome. Good morning, everybody. Everything worked out here okay. Before I leave the Council Bluffs area, because this is one of the big cities, tomorrow is my birthday, guys. Just so you know, I'm just pointing that out for those of you that asked. June 5th uh, is my official birthday. I will be 37 tomorrow. Some of you have asked me how you can send me a card or something. I put uh, in the video description, all my videos, I put my P.O. box back home and then I have those packages rerouted. I actually have a package being rerouted in about two weeks uh, over in Illinois at my buddy's place. So I will be getting those soon if you guys want to send me a card or something. Also, I have set up my public wish list on Amazon. It's got a few things for jacks, a few toys or trinkets or tools uh, for making the channel better. So some equipment uh, upgrades and stuff like that. I will link that in the video description below as well. So if you guys want to click on that, buy me something that will be shipped uh, to me as well. And I will get that in a few weeks. Really appreciate that. Otherwise, no biggie. Uh, what I'm going to do today before I leave the big city is going to go cross town and I am going to spoil myself. Well, I'm going to spoil the channel, really. I'm going to make a um, a major upgrade to the channel today, basically. I have talked about not using GoPros anymore. So, so ever since I got into Nebraska, 
no more GoPros. I have been filming on my original Canon Vixia camcorder out on a selfie stick ever since. And today we make a major change because Canon has announced, I think just last month or in March or something, a new mirrorless 4K DSLR travel camera. We're gonna go to Best Buy and I'm gonna go spoil myself today. They have not changed the uh, logo on all the stores yet, but Best Buy, I don't know if you guys saw their new logo. It looks pretty elementary. I have no idea why. Anyway, the reason why I'm going with Best Buy and not something cheaper like Amazon or eBay is because there are so many Best Buys. In case I don't like the camera, I can uh, return it or replace it and swap it at a different Best Buy later on down the road. So for this particular product, I am going to buy in store with a receipt that I can return it just in case. I, I have been holding out for the 90D. It's not coming in 2018. No word if it'll ever be made. So I think going mirrorless and a smaller form factor is probably a better deal right now, a better idea for vlogging and traveling. So I'll go grab my camera real quick and then we'll, I'll show you some differences once we get out, once I get a battery charged and all that. So, happy birthday me. All right, bear with me now. I'm gonna geek out a little bit. I have not been this excited in a long time. Uh, I'm gonna show with you what I got, and then I'm gonna do like some versus the camcorder versus the new setup, maybe even later on versus GoPro or iPhone as well. But this is it. To recap, I, some stuff that I already had, I've been using the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus with the Dead Cat on top. This is the newer version that came out just the end of last year. It is all now digital on the back. Also has settings for high pass and low pass filters. Wind reduction records a safety track as well and has a rechargeable battery and turns on and off automatically when the DSLR camera turns on and off. So you will not run the battery dry in the new plus version anymore. This is a $320 microphone, just so you know. I've been using this last month on the camcorder. I'm not using it right now, but already had that. Although I don't use it much, I do have a Gorilla Pod. This is a $150 Joby 5K Gorilla Pod. Kind of the Casey Neistat thing, but you can hold it out. I don't need to hold it out that far away from my hand, but when you're, you know, a run and gun type person on the trail and you want to get a shot real quick, being able to twist this around a branch, it just gives a lot more interesting shot potential traveling on the road. So I may end up using this more often with the current setup. And let's get into the current setup here. The Canon EOS M50 with the kit lens 15 to 45, 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens included. This is Canon's latest mirrorless 4K DSLR camera. Basically everything that is in the Canon 80D, the big DSLR from two years ago, is in this minus a few buttons, a different interface, and a lot of new stuff, including some new image stabilization in this camera as well. The other cool thing about going into Best Buy is the camera guys know their stuff. I brought in some of my equipment to make sure that the wide angle doesn't catch part of the bottom of the microphone. They let me try in the different lenses to make sure that the dual pixel autofocus still work it works with the adapter. We'll talk more about the adapter, but well, little strap here. Comes with one battery, but I purchased two other Canon batteries. I do not buy generic batteries when it comes to videography. I don't do it. I know you can save a bunch of money, just one thing I don't do, and I've always talked about that, I always go genuine, especially with Canon parts and adapters. So I have three three batteries for the camera. It comes with a dual charger. This is the kit lens. <laughs> tiny this is, and it has image stabilization. It's tiny. This is the EFM mount lens, not to be confused with the EF or EFS lenses that you put on the Canon 80D but you can put EFS big lenses on this camera and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that because I am gonna do that. Here's the body. Look at that! Oh my gosh! It's like comparative, it's about the same size as a, a Sony A6500, but it has the flip out screen, very angle screen, so you can do the selfies and frame your shot like that. Look up and twist this down. Go down and twist it up. That is awesome. It's got the mic input on the side. 
It's unclear how much I will use the 15 to 45. I will not be vlogging with this included kit lens, but I will be using this for specific things. Just so you can see what it looks like on the camera there. There it is with the kit lens. It is a tiny DSLR and it weighs half the weight of an 80D and does all the same things. Woohoo! Okay, but we're gonna take this off now because the real reason why I got this camera was to be able to use my favorite Canon EF lens of all time. And in order to do that, you need the EFM adapter. And again, I would recommend you not buying an aftermarket adapter. Just stick with genuine Canon parts because you know they are all going to be compatible. So this lens adapter looks like that. I think you have to take this tripod thing off, but it, what the, the, the tripod, what that's going to do is give you a better center of balance because the lens is going to be heavier over here. So rather than putting your tripod on the camera, you're going to put it on the lens adapter right here. But i going to take this off real quick. Now, see, that lens adapter is almost the same size as the kit lens, but it's making it bigger here to accept the lens. I've already owned both of these lenses in the past, but I sold them when I sold my Canon 80D, and that is the 10 to 18 millimeter. It's a ultra wide angle lens right there. It has image stabilization built in, and then I also got the Pancake 50 millimeter again. This is a 1.8. It is great, great for the blurred background bokeh shots out in nature, and for really like low light situations as well. So the two kit lens, this was $325. The lens adapter by Canon, yeah, it's a $200 adapter. And I, like I said, I know you can buy generic ones for like 50 bucks, but I wouldn't do that. And the camera body only, you can get in there for $699. I paid $749 for, to have the kit lens put in it, just so, you, just so you know where I'm at. I've been saving up for this for a while though. And there's our lenses. The uh, 50 millimeter pancake lens is about the same thickness as this adapter. I've used it lots. I know I know a lot about that lens. And this one was the lens I first started on with my Canon 80D. And it's so cool that I can actually use it with this small mirrorless now. <sighs> I just love that smell. It's an all plastic lens, which is great for vlogging because it keeps the setup light. I mean, all plastic, even the mount here is plastic. <laughs> now look what we got. It almost looks comical on the tiny body, but uh, let me put this guy on. Wow. Oh, let me charge a battery real quick. While one of my Canon M50 batteries is charging, see what the microphone looks like mounted to the top here. So there you go, with that wide angle, I am gonna get a new uh, lens hood as well. You guys remember when I was in Michigan and I had this lens on the 80D, the lens hood that I had was a generic one, didn't work. It actually had the corners uh, blacked out and cropped out. So I will be ordering the right lens hood and that will be waiting in uh, Illinois at, at my buddy's place there for later. But uh, yeah, get this guy all tightened up on there, flip out the, Oh, weird. You gotta twist it before you go like that into selfie mode. But there's the basic setup, guys. This is so light. The heaviest part of this entire thing is this gorilla pod. I'm not even kidding you. All this up here weighs less than just the gorilla pod. But gosh, that's so much better than a Canon 80D. Wow. Oh, man, am I excited. Let me take this off, put it on the Canon Vixia camcorder there. We're gonna do a test while the battery is still charging. All right, and so just for comparison, this is with the uh, Canon Vixen, Vixia camcorder, which I have been using for now about three and a half weeks on the road, vlogging with it nonstop. Uh, this is what you're used to as far as image stabilization, video quality, the zoom, the, the, the angle and everything. The audio should be about the same because I'm using the same microphone. But um, let me go inside. I got to make a couple changes to the M50 for the audio levels and stuff. And we will cut right back in with a test of the new system right now. And there we go. Uh, right out of the box. 
these are the settings I'm probably going to use. Uh, I've got it on face tracking right now, so obviously I'm looking at the viewfinder just to see what it's doing. It is definitely tracking on my face and keeping my eyes and face in focus as I walk around. Uh, as I mentioned, I do not care for digital image stabilization. That is disabled right now. That is because it adds a really weird warp loopy effect. Uh, I will keep the image stabilization on the lens. Um, and if I need to, I will do warp stabilization in post-production if I need to. But the idea is to make this as simple as possible. So hopefully as I'm walking around, this image is being stabilized enough that I won't have to do anything else. And without knowing, this is like the first clip I have ever recorded on this camera. So I don't know, but I will find out as soon as I start editing. Hopefully the image quality is good. Got to stop looking at that, but man, it looks crystal clear and the wide angle shows so much more in the shot. This is just a test with me holding the camera. I will show you right here in the mirror. I am just holding it on my little Manfrotto tripod right here, not the Gorillapod. So this works, but if I wanted to get an even wider angle, I could be using the Gorilla pod, which I don't use very often. Let's uh, step inside real quick and see how the 4.5 to 5.6 acts in low light. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's just crystal clear. I don't have a message on the board. Sorry, I was not prepared. <laughs> I don't have anything funny up there. That's amazing. Wow. That's all the way zoomed in for this wide angle lens. That's pretty much the view that I had with the Canon Vixie actually. And there's 10 millimeters. The edges aren't curved horribly. It's not like a GoPro fisheye effect. Man, what do you guys think? Pretty good investment. This is a vlogger's dream. I'm telling you what. All right guys, Jackson, I'll be back on the road, Lincoln Highway into Iowa, looking for some quirky stuff in our next video. So stay tuned. Talk to you guys in a few days. Bye-bye.